I want to come to the center. I want to come to the center. Is it this bus? Yeah, it's an open line with a female saying there's a It's over there. It's over there.
Get your gun! Get it down! Go that way! Get out of here! There's gunshots coming from over there! Go that way! Go that way!
Uh, now, and you mentioned some <clears throat> some spent cartridges that you saw, I guess, as you were uh, yes. running running from the scene. Where were those located? So those, those are located to the to the east of the second Tropicana Tower and that bottom floor, the parking lot, before you get into the service entrance. That second tower, the bottom floor, is where the trucks pull up to drop off you know, food, equipment, uh, things of that nature, where the employees enter. Uh, that door was open, but I remember running through that small area parking lot, and it was the corner of Giles and uh, Reno, the church there with the cross on top, and then we made our way over through the parking lot, and there was probably, I would say, a dozen or more, and they were spread out of these inch and a half, maybe, so maybe they were a little gone. more, maybe a little less, empty yeah. brass <laughs> tubes. And I, till this day, I wish, <laughs> I wish I would have, on while I'm running for my life and while I've got my hand on my, on my wife as well, rushing her in, inside the trop can, I wish I would have bent down and picked one up. Okay, just be advised, we're watching cameras right now. And we see a broken out window on Mandalay Bay that's about eight floors down. Lights are on inside the building with the broken out window, possibly is where the shooter was. Okay, just be advised, we're watching cameras right now. And we see a broken out window on Mandalay Bay that's about eight floors down. Lights are on inside the building with the broken out window. Possibly is where the shooter was. Okay, confirm it now. Eight floor. You're going to be about the eighth floor from the top. Okay, copy that.
This whole thing, it's just the tip of the iceberg. We've only scratched the surface. But I do remember, like, seeing they have those openings on the side. And I could see, like, a, a shadow, like, not facing, uh, like, facing out towards us. So not, like, sitting back how you would in a helicopter strapped in. He was, like, or, you know, they were, like, looking down at us. And it was like, I could see their heads, then underneath I could see, like, a big blob. And I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't tell what that was. And so I think that's another reason why I was really sure about it, because they were, like, looking down on us. And I, I really wish, like, I could remember every single detail with that night. But I just, for some reason, I just knew it was coming out of that helicopter. But I was so unbelievably certain that it was coming from the helicopter because it was so close. And I remember thinking, why is it that close? Oh, my God, I think, it's, I think the shooting is coming from the helicopter. And so, I mean, I still <laughs> kind of believe that because I just in that moment was so so certain just un, not a doubt in my mind that there was shooting coming from the helicopter where are we going I don't know just away from them fuel tanks these copters yeah, keep flying I'm not worried our about head. those as much as I am I haven't seen where are we going I don't know just away from them fuel tanks these copters yeah, keep flying I'm not worried our about head. those as much as I am I haven't seen where are we going I don't know just away from them fuel tanks these copters yeah, keep flying I'm not worried about heads. those as